So book 10, so let me tell you about book 10. Book 10 is a good book and book 10 and 11 are both books that I planned out thought about and had decided I was going to write on a road trip from Georgia to Colorado. The trip was we drove, uh, me and several of my family members, we drove up to Colorado, did a couple Spartan races, uh, visited a bunch of things, had a good time. There was a lot of downtime when I wasn't driving. Um, we took turns to drive and there was, a, there was a lot of time for me. There wasn't a lot of service, so no uh, Wi-Fi, no uh, data, just a whole lot of nothing except for corn and, and some windmills. So rather than just do nothing or take a nap, I decided I would uh, plan out two books, in which are book 10 and book 11. So book 10 being the first one, obviously, that I wrote, I had an idea of having a character arc and then there being several supporting characters that had their own individual character arcs. So the main character had the character arc and then the other ones had them as they, um, as they proceeded through the story and the, the character arcs were very um, different and so some landed in different places. And while I think I did a good job on this and I think the middle parts of the book are, so I always have a problem with middles, I think the middle part of this book is better than a lot of the books that I had previously written. One, because of those individual character arcs and then two, because of the conflict that I kept moving. One of the things that I had a problem with, especially in books uh, previously, is that I would get to a middle point and when there was a conflict, an obvious conflict, rather than going with that disaster, going with that problem, going with that really bad issue that suddenly cropped up, I would shy away from it, I would uh, flinch from it, and so I just went after it. If was there a terrible thing, yes, do it. Oh, it's awful, do it anyway. So this book has a lot more of that, a lot more conflict, a lot more terrible things happen, a lot more uh, evil things. There are some, definitely some, some offensive uh, parts of the book that don't, um, that offend. I mean, they really do. And, and they're purposeful in that, in that the characters and people and events in this book are not happy, they're not good, there isn't any um, grand, you know, oh gosh, we're all good and everything worked out at the end. No, this book has, um, a, it's a continuation. One, it's a sequel of books seven and eight. Yeah, seven and eight. And so that book, um, those books um, lead into this book in a way, shape, or form so that it really becomes something that is more um, in line with those books. And this book was a character from book seven that I had thought about writing a, a story about, maybe a short story, at worst a novella. As I planned it out, it became better and better and better. And as I thought about it as I was driving or as I was working out or going to the gym, uh, back in the days when we could, right? It really had a good idea for me of this is what I'm gonna do, this is how I'm gonna do it. This is a book that I really want to be evil in. I really want to use those skills I had learned in book seven and in book nine, I think it was. Um, you know, to be evil, to do the things that are bad to the characters so the bad things really happen, really work well. I did that, and I think this book is, is one of my better books. Um, there's a book that follows the, this one in book 11, book 13, which I think is probably my best book I've written thus far. And that book is great in that it has um, a lot of reflections of this, and um, I think it really, really works well. Whereas book 10 itself, um, some of the things I did well with, again, middle, really nailed it much better than I had before. Uh, ending, um, you know, I, I, I think the ending was good, but I think the kind of resolution didn't have much resonance because it's very dependent on the next book after because they're really kind of tandem books. Uh, book 10 and book 11 are essentially, in a way, reflections of each other. Uh, so that was that was good, but it kind of left and less, you know, almost if I put them together, it would almost be better as one one book with just part one, part two. So the, the books are or book one, book two, but in in a single actual physical thing. While that is um, true, I think also books ten and past have a distinct difference between what I did previously and what I did 
now because rather than concentrating on just okay I'm gonna do very standard hero's journey type books and go through the things and do all the things that everybody knows and you've seen videos or read things on it and you know the stories I decided not to and just write a plot just here's blah which when we get to book 13 14 and beyond I'll explain in part I was working essentially from a, a three-act normal structure that everybody has seen maybe videos on or, or read about and save the cat and all that I essentially did that rather than trying the hero's journey I really just went for this is what happens to the book here's the plot here's the terrible things that happens here's individual character arcs and here's boom go which worked well and the interplay between the characters because they are bad naughty characters works well I think then the next book which is book 11 a my favorite number 11 um, their interplay and interactions and dialogue are not as biting as book 10 they don't have a lot of just snarling at each other there's not as much you know cutting each other down and all that whereas book 10 does so it makes for a little bit more um, of a delightful read it's a little bit more amusing just not necessarily it's funny but just it's fun to read more so than people just being normally good and, and, and wonderful, which I think is part of the problem with book 11, is I didn't start them from a worse place than I did with book 10. What I would definitely suggest um, when you're writing is to find don't write the same thing all the time, don't write the same way all the time, don't use the same structure, don't use the same um, plot development points, uh, try things out, try, try new things, you know, save the cat, hero's journey, uh, parallel stories, uh, linear stories, circular stories, all that stuff, try them out, see what you like. Uh, a lot of people will yell, well, you know, you've written all these books, yeah, okay, but you can too, it's not terribly hard to write a book um, over the span of three months if you devote an hour to actually writing not thinking about writing but actually writing and so one of the things I always tell people how do I write a book you have to find times when you're doing nothing and start imagining then so you're driving to work imagine your stories you're doing cardio imagine your stories you're doing the dishes imagine your stories you're putting up laundry imagine your stories you're on your way to sleep imagine your stories you're brushing your teeth imagine your stories and always do that and write things down so you'll remember it and the ideas will come there uh, find songs music that you think um, somewhat reflect what your story is or your characters or, or I have a whole huge list of songs uh, from various genres and, and types of music that remind me of this character or that situation that characters are doing um, that scene that ending the whole plot itself all these things are definitely in there so I'm constantly imagining constantly thinking um, if you finding that you're getting stuck and you don't have you get writer's block one you may not be a pantser writer you might be a planner you might be a planster or a pantstooler or whatever it is you your alignment may not be um, you know chaotic neutral you might actually be true neutral you might you know, so figure that out uh, by writing by doing it and um, in writing like I've said this about an archery video that I love um, writing is about what works what works for you not what works for other people what works for somebody else it's about what works for you find what works for you and sometimes you're gonna have to try it out and fail pantsing works for me to an extent for certain people for certain things planning works to a certain extent for certain things for certain books for certain reasons if I put it together it works a lot better for me and I do well when I put it together if I don't then it doesn't work I don't I'm not an intuitive writer which means I can't read a bunch of books and then know how to write I have to learn all the ways to write things so I have a methodology of this is how I write and I have to plan it out because of that because if I don't I will just go on a tangent and go crazy places which in fact is what I did way a lot of in book 
11, but in book 10, not so much, but I did go into some weird places that I think could be weirder. And that's one of the things that I think I did badly, where I did more well with 11, is I needed to go to more bizarre places, do more bizarre things, which you can do. Um, figure it out, you know, especially in speculative fiction, have fun with it. Um, the more strange and the more you can describe it, the better you can describe it well to your readers, and the more clear you can be with this fantastical journey they're going on, the more they will really approve and enjoy your work. All that being said, um, again, one through zero through through nine, good books, some of them really need some rewrites, but I was still learning. Books 10 and forward, I think, are really where I start coming in my own, and it's a lot of fun. What I do need to do, though, with books 7 and 8 and 10 and 11 and, and 12 and 13, the books in that universe, is I need to really get a this is how everybody works, this is how everything works, this is the timeline, and really put it down so it makes sense as it weaves in and out through the various books, rewrite everything, make it standard, um, and then really go forward with that, and I think it'll be good, publishable, and I think people will enjoy it, and, and it'll work very well. So, however you decide to write, do it. That's the important thing, is just write and keep writing. Um, and that's uh, what I want for you to have a happiness because this fulfills me. Even if it's not published, it makes me feel good. It makes me feel like I've accomplished something, like I've done something, even if they go into a trash can on my death, which I really hope they don't. Um, so knock on wood, you know, I don't die for quite some time. Um, here's hoping that it works out to me. And at some point I uh, make a video about, hey, I'm published, or here's my book, or, you know, hey, I made a bazillion dollars and I can go sit in Iceland and write a book all year round or something, you know? So, good ideas, good thoughts. Let's make it happen. But the important thing is you gotta work for it. You gotta work. If you don't work for your books, for reading, for knowing how to write, for actually figuring out what works for you, it's never gonna happen. So write, write, write. Write some more. Keep writing. Keep going. Hopefully at some point you, me, we'll all make it. Take care of yourself. Have a good day.